Hello, welcome to Shop Talk. We're looking at a real vintage chainsaw. This is a McCullough D44. One of their first saws that actually had the pre-cart motor in it. It's got a removable head gasket on the cylinder. One of their uh, very popular uh, chainsaws. This was made in 1956. It's 4.4 cubic inch. Power head weighs 19 pounds. And we'll look at some of the features they had in 1956. They're a little different than what you're used to today. There's no rubber mounts. It's all rigid mounts, so uh, there's no smooth operation. You feel the vibration in the saw. Kill switch is right there, similar to what we have today. There's a oiler, and it's not automatic. It's a manual pump, and you just pump that, and the oiler, do, oiler does work good. Choke is over here. Gasoline on the top. And you mix a pint of oil and two and a half gallons of gas it says on the top SAE 30 well you don't have to do that you can run some good quality 50 to 1 mix that's what I run in all my vintage chainsaws even though it says run 30 weight at about 16 to 1 uh, you can run the quality oil we have today and it wasn't it won't do any harm to your chainsaw the points are right here they're exposed um, they weren't too concerned about where they put them back then It is does have some defects. There's a ear missing off of the tank right here. I've seen those tanks for sale on eBay. You can pick them up if you want to trick this saw out and make it all original. It's got a 404 chipper chain, we call it. Just a round chain filed around 404. Starters on the right side right here. Bar tensioner, uh, loosen the two bar nuts up. Similar to what we got today, right on the inside there is where you adjust the tension. It's got a very loud muffler. That muffler uh, cackles real nice. This would be a great show saw. Uh, if you're going to cut firewood with it, don't buy it. It's not a firewood cutting saw. We will go out and make a cut with it just to show you how these old saws cut. But uh, these are collector saws. They're not to be used daily unless you realize that it you know you're cutting with a very vintage saw made in the 50s don't be out there pushing it get you a new saw if you're going to cut firewood spark plug right in the very back here and we'll go outside now and make a cut with this saw